Thank you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your words and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? Visited. I am here again with the same message. A message from the throne of mercy. People of God, I want you to know and be aware of this that Satan is real. Witchcraft is real. Evil activities is real. Christianity should not be, you know, a fake confession. You need to be real and be original of what you are saying. See what is happening every year. Look at the accidents. See the way we are dying. Like animals. Why? This is the question. And this is what is now bothering me every day. I cry to God every day in my heart. I said, Father, what defeated Satan is not the name Jesus, but the power in the name of Jesus. What made your name to be greater and powerful is your power and this is the power that we are yearning for if for people are real, criminals are real Jesus was not harmed with we know AK-47 he came to the land I mean the world where his life was in danger but because the power upon his life was more real than his enemy. He had that courage. Why are we living in fear? Because we are powerless. We are not calling any power. Each and every time, whenever you know you close your eyes, you are sleeping, evil power will come, feeding you in the dream, afflicting your body in the dream. You wake up, hey, Jesus, in the flesh, it is there and then in the dream that you need to confront evil power to say what you want. What you want. We are faking Christianity if we confess Christ without power. What attracted people to follow Jesus is power. What made the man in the synagogue to be known all over the world is power that is in our lifetime now I'm not talking about Paul I'm not talking about Elijah Jeremiah Joshua, Moses I'm talking about the man that you know some of you, you have been there what made him to be known even today you see people claiming to be his, their father it's because power pass what? Power. What we are, you know, struggling with is not a flesh and blood. I mean, the danger to your life is not your fellow human being. What, but when your fellow human being is possessed with evil power, devil can use that body to come and kill you or do whatever they want to do with your life. This is where I am standing. I started with Zakalia. I'm still calling you up to 2023, even beyond 20. Because what I've discovered is that we are more of religious or history of the Bible than the reality of the word of God. We are good when it comes to history. You can quote the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, but without power, 
you are like a sheep without a shepherd. It is the power of God to shelter your life. So that even when you are talking about this issue that is affecting all of us here, the power will be there to defend your case. A soldier confessed. Jesus was there preaching, performing miracles. Ah, this man is the son to Maria, his what? He continues, his brothers are there. But the day that Jesus was crucified on the cross, before he left the body, something happened. This soldier who were guarding him were forced to go down and say, This man is from God. Because they saw what? Power. I am not saying preaching the word of God is not, but it is not enough for you to carry the Bible without the power that brought the Bible to this life. Because our opponents are in the spirit. They are occupying our body spiritually to oppose the word of God. So that whatever you are receiving from the word cannot settle inside your heart. Because a stranger is inside your body by the name of evil power. Are you a Christian without power? If you are a child of God, you are a man of God, a woman of God, without power, you are a human being without legs. You can't move. You cannot move. But with power inside your body, uh, are you there? Are you there? This is my problem. I don't know. Even those who are watching me. This is my. I am not saying I am the only one here who can say I'm. A, no. I want to bring this to your attention. So that maybe if we stand together and cry to our Father, so that the power of salvation, I mean the Holy Spirit, can fall our flesh upon His church. Because criminals are hiding inside the church. They are using the name Christianity to cover their evil activities. And we are busy supporting witches and wizards, killing people within the church. Without power, we are like animals. Uh -huh. Instead of, you know, you, are, you being inside the church, you are sitting in the upper toilet. Where these evil people are busy cutting you, afflicting all these problems that we are facing. Heart what? Hitting what? All these problems. The source of our problem is from the spiritual world. I'll, I'll prove to you. Oh, because of time, but let me just, you know, let's go to Acts. I'll be jumping. Please follow me. Listen to this. Uh, this is Acts chapter 1. Verse 7. Remember, this is my message. I'll cut the same message this weekend. I'll be in Cabo this weekend, this coming Saturday. I'll cut the same message to Cabo to go and share the, this message with our brothers and sisters there in Cabo. Listen to verse 7. He said to them, It is not for you to know the times or the days. The Father has said by his own authority. Now verse 8. But you receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you and will be my witnesses. Meaning, before I end there, there is no way you can testify about Jesus without the power to confirm what you are talking about. When you say Jesus is Lord, power must be seen that yes, Jesus is what? He's Lord. My voice, your voice, is meaningless without the power of God. What is threatening our life is not a human being, but the invisible nature. That is evil power. The Holy Spirit is an ambassador of salvation. If the Holy Spirit is in you, heaven is your home. If evil spirit is in you, is the ambassador of hell. When Jesus came to this life, the Holy Spirit was upon his life as an ambassador of heaven. 
because we are representing the will of God. There is no way you can talk to a God who might wish power without power in you. Unless the power is given to you. This is the word. He said, when the Holy Spirit comes on you, you will be my witnesses. People are calling Bible. There's no need for anyone to, you know, to go to, uh, I mean, to have a certificate for you to preach. But for you to bring Jesus where you are, that's where the problem is. Because the enemy of the church is not human beings. The enemy of your destiny is not human beings. It is the devil and his evil power. And they are in the spirit. Let's go to Acts 16. We see the, the issue of that young girl. Verse 16 or 17 because of time. Acts 16. Are you there? Once when we were going, this is verse 16, the place of prayer. We were met by a female slave who had a I mean a spirit by which she predicted the future. He earned a great deal of money for our owners by fortune telling. This is the sister who was prophesying. Through that prophecy, she was making money. Making money for those you know where are keeping this girl. Verse 17. Are you there? She followed Paul and the rest of us, shouting, These men are servants of the Most High God who are telling you the way to be saved. This is the girl followed now Paul and his fellow brothers. Listen to these people. These are men of God. They are telling you the truth about salvation. Pay attention to what they are saying. She kept on this up for many days. This is 18. Finally, Paul became annoyed. And that he turned around and he said to the girl, I mean to the spirit, take note of that. Paul never confronted the girl to say, why are you following us? Why are you making noise? Power inside Paul was provoked. It was power to power. Finally, Paul became annoyed that he turned around and said to the spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you, come out of her. At that moment, the spirit left the girl. The girl, when the girl was shouting, she was not manifesting. She was just talking, no more. These are men of God. Listen to them. What and what? What and what? But the spirit of God inside Paul said, this is an evil spirit. This girl needs salvation. He turned and said, I command you in the name of Jesus. Come out. And the evil spirit came out immediately. Guess what? The people who were making money using this girl became annoyed against Paul. They arrested the apostle and chained them. They started beating them and take them to the prison. After taking them to the place, uh, to, to the marketplace and take them to the authority. This is where now I want you to know something. If you go, I'm looking at time. Paul and Silas were being locked up. They were, they were other prisoners. They entered the place with power inside them. I have never come across, you know, a scripture which Paul was saying, God, but why? But why? Power inside him was busy sustaining him, telling them the outcome of these arrests. Instead of Paul crying, they started singing, praising God. That is my song now. I don't know the song Paul was singing, but for this one. Meaning, the Bible says, suddenly, 
there came a mighty wind which shook the foundation of the prison and all the doors were loosed after the prison water realized that oh all the doors are loose. He, he, he thought maybe prisoners have run away. Paul said, no, no, don't even harm yourself. Because he wanted to kill himself. Don't even harm yourself. Guess what? The man goes down to the post need to say, what can I do? What makes this man to submit? Because this is a soldier. And his duty is to make sure that Paul must be under chain. But the power upon his life make a soldier or a police officer to go down and said please ah, you are not getting the point here listen to me what makes you to go down and forget that you are saving the government? Power can force the king and the priest to go down and say, Jesus is Lord. The man was forced to submit himself to the way to say, please, I am no longer interested in this job. I need salvation. Power forced this man to accept Jesus by force. If you say you are a child of God without power, I told you, you are a human being without what? Legs. There is life after this life. You can preach and preach and people are listening to you are all possessed. They will keep on saying, yes, tell us, tell us, tell us. Snakes are sleeping inside their system. They will deceive you to say, evil spirits are inside but when power is talking there is no hiding place for evil spirit look at Jesus sometimes you discover that 100 or 500 meters you see a man shouting what do you want from us and Jesus is not talking he's quiet but power is what the way it is in the spirit you are sitting quietly something is clicking in your mind spiritually you are talking spiritually you are what you are talking so if it is meditation going on within your body power is talking to the whole entire church huh. that's why I love Jesus he did not submit himself to anyone because of money or because of popularity power inside him was enough for him to be alone he never forced anyone to believe in him but power make people to believe that this man is from God this is what we are lacking we are more of ourselves we are more of these material things money when you see money you see breakthrough you see real Christian no it is power Paul and Silas were dancing members but people with power they fear no one they fear no one in this world there are weapons are you there in this world there are what there are guns matches name them people of this world are armed with those weapons what about you Christians are you armed with the power because power can control anything. Power can do anything. You can stand here and pray for this country. You can pray for your leader. You can pray for the change. Jesus started here in the crusade in the town. He was in the town. He was in the town. He was in the town. 
people we you know is very close to the corridor of power. Everybody mutauni kari muntu ni cha koloba na senda chini chini nda paka na kolwa asango le kolwa mune cha le bwa cha tule chita iwe waikato na obule nuka kumukoshi because tapa di aba mume ne eh cha le bwa cha ni mafundi akwa Moses. Iwetu wa kusangu wale chito bula lelale. So fuyo kufwa. Na ena afumine kubula lelale. Because tamumwe. Power came. And challenge them. Imwe wonse mwe wali ya banga tamachita. Am power ya lele mba panshi. Ama problems ya abo. Wamu na wele. Uyu na tuishu. Kubutuka. Nendo shishila tina haba na bako. Indo shishimu tina. Nipamu na nduwa gata mwa kwa tama. Kashia na shari kwa tama kaya vroshi. You are more powerful than a witch. You are more powerful than a satanist. But because we are empty, we are confessing what we are not. We are faking Christianity. If you say you are a child of God without power, you are faking what? A satanist cannot say I'm a satanist without power. You know them by the activities. See the way we are, you know, we are being insulted by witch doctors. Go and watch YouTube. You see witch doctors claiming that it is us who are giving these pastors power. Which pastor? Can a man of God go to a witch doctor and get power to speak in the name of Jesus? No. Even witch doctors must know that Jesus is greater than their evil power. In Zambia, I've never seen witches and wizards, you know, bringing this instrument of evil to the church. This is where the problem is. We need to pray more and cry more so that God can empower you and fill you. You are sitting down. Who is inside your body? Hmm? Who is inside your body? Is it Holy Spirit? Uh, answer me. Who is inside your body? Is it Holy Spirit? Eh? Holy Spirit is inside. He's there. Are you sure? The Holy Spirit is there. He, is it not uh, uh, this one causing problem in your in your life? Hmm? Is it Holy Spirit? We are saying Holy Spirit is inside. Are you sure? Allow the Holy Spirit to check your life if truly is inside. You will receive what? What shook the foundation of the prison is what? If the evil spirit is inside your body, that is the prison inside you. And my prayer is that let the Spirit of God come down and shook that foundation so that you became the child of your father. Who is your father? Eh? Not evil spirit. <laughs> it is very easy to say no with our mouth. But with our heart, is it easy? Hmm? Okay, give me your power. If truly, yeah, they, they, they touch me, I touch you. Let me see if truly we are, we are clean. Uh, touch me, I touch you. Uh -huh. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me, I touch you. With your a clear conscience, touch me, I touch you. Mm -hmm. Touch me, I touch you. 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 The ambassador of salvation is Holy Spirit. Who is there? monitoring your spirit. Touch me, I touch you. 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 Are you touching me? You are not touching me. I say touch me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Touch me, I touch you. Touch me, I touch you. Touch me, I touch you. Touch me. Are you touching me? 
Uh-huh. Uh, please leave the place. Let me talk to the, the people's conscience. I said, touch me. Let me see your right hand. Mm-hmm. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me, I touch you. Touch me, I touch you. Touch me, I touch you. I touch me, I touch you. Ngakuri uri umamuka chumonde kongonsha by the power of the Holy Ghost. Who is inside your body? Touch me, I touch you. Uh huh. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me, I touch you. Touch me, I touch you. Touch me, I touch you. We share the grace now. Your right hand. We share the grace. I say we share the grace. We share the grace. Mm. Collect the grace. Collect it. The ambassador of salvation must enter your life. Now touch your heart. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Say thank you, Holy Spirit. Say thank you, Holy Spirit. Be in me. Remain in me. And I will remain in you. Say thank you, Holy Spirit. Be in me. Remain in me. And I will remain in you. In Jesus' name. God bless you.